Hi, hey everybody. Randy Habert here for SoCal Go Live. My guest today is Lucas Sims, a pitcher with the East Squad uh, here at the uh, Perfect Game All American uh, event. And uh, he's from Brockwood High School, I believe. In Brookwood. Brookwood in Georgia. Yes, sir. Okay, so let me ask you this. How does it feel, Lucas, to be one of the, uh, you know, the 38 best uh, high school players in the country? You know, it's, uh, it's really a blessing, you know, knowing um, that all your hard work is starting to pay off and it's getting recognized and it's just one step closer to the next level, you know. So uh, it's really exciting and uh, it's really just a blessing. How, how tough is it going to be for you to go back to what they call a, quote, normal team where you have normal players around you? I mean, uh, you just got to keep the right mindset and um, hopefully you learn stuff from other people here. Um, that you can take back and help everyone else get better. Now, what, what's the mental approach you come into uh, an event like this with? I mean, is it just a matter of uh, you getting guys out? Is it a matter of throwing strikes? Is it, is it everything? Is it velocity? I mean, what do you want to uh, showcase that you have to offer? Really, there's you really don't want to change much of anything. Uh, you want to come out here and just play your game. Show. I mean, that's what got you. You might as well uh, show off what brought you here. So uh, I'm just going to stick with the fastball, throw strikes. You don't want to walk the bases loaded with right. on TV. So uh, throwing strikes and just command, really. Now, I know it's a bit early, but any idea, any inclination on which way you're leaning? I mean, is it to go to go to a college, a Division One, a major Division One school, or is the uh, draft a possibility for you that you'd consider? I mean, everything's always a possibility. I mean, it's, if the right situation present, presents itself, uh, it's definitely a good chance. But, uh, you know, just playing by ear right now and just playing ball till then. Now, how much video do you watch of yourself? Do you, do you tend to do that? Do you break down your mechanics that way? Do you, do you work with a pitching coach in that manner, or is it just a matter of you letting your, your, you know, your God-given talent show through, and that's what you go with? Uh, I've had the blessing of having really good coaches um, in the past. Uh, USA coaches, my high school coach, um, travel coaches, all that. They really helped me out. And I do like watching film. Uh, I'm a visual kind of guy, so if I can see it, then it's easier to fix. And um, just put, do side-by-sides and see what's new. Now, uh, modern-day baseball players seem to be in love with social networking, uh, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter. How much of that do you do? And, 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 you know, is it fun for you? And do you uh, communicate with a lot of the, uh, your teammates and guys around the country with that? Yeah, uh, it's, it's a way of communicating. Uh, I have Facebook and I have a Twitter. Uh, communicate with all of my, my ball friends. So, uh, yeah, I, I do. I'll occasionally tweet a few. So, yeah. Uh, Social networking, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> now, now, uh, besides baseball, are there any other sports that you like to uh, participate in during the off season? Not really. I try to stay away from them just to not get hurt. Um, I used to swim. That's about it. No sports for me. Well, what is it about baseball, the great game of baseball, that sets it apart from all other games? <sighs> just, it's kind of a, a personal thing. It's a, it's a challenge, and uh, I love that. It's humbling. Not everyone goes out and dominates it. Uh, one game you could go out and throw a, a gym, and then the next day you could have an off day or whatnot. But it's just the day by day kind of schedule. Just it's amazing. Love it. Well, now we're in like the middle of August, and usually by now pitchers have thrown a, a whole lot of innings uh, between uh, high school ball and maybe some uh, summertime ball or whatever. How's the arm feeling for you right now? Oh, it feels great. Uh, do. My uh, my high school coaches have been really good about um, like health program bands, ice running, all that stuff. So my arm's doing fine. Well, look, we we uh, we know you have an outstanding future. We want you to have a great three days here uh, with the uh, Perfect Game All American Tournament. I know you're looking forward to the big event on Sunday over at Petco Park. That's going to be a big thrill when you take the mound there, huh? Yes, sir, definitely. Well, Lucas, I want to thank you so much for being our guest today on SoCal Go Live. We wish you the best of luck, and. Uh, you know, hopefully the sun will come out in a, in a couple of hours. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Lucas Sims uh, here with the Perfect Game uh, All-American uh, event here at the University of San Diego, and he's a, a pitcher with a lot of talent, and good things are going to be happening for him in years to come.